The Lord Jesus Christ says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. It is a powerful statement. It is not a statement of enlightenment, but it is a statement of giving light and giving life, both of them together. We cannot be in darkness and say that we have life. The same statement he made for his followers, when in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 14, he said, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Very important. The Lord Jesus Christ not only says that I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. But he says, those who follow me, those who believe in me, those who trust me, they are also light of the world. And therefore, as Christians, we not only do by what we have, Jesus Christ, light of the world, but who we are, light of the world. Today, we had an Afghan brother from Sweden called and he gave his powerful testimony. He said that his life was empty, he was hopeless, to the point that he almost wanted to commit suicide. And it was during that time of stress, that time of frustration in his life, that time that anxiety was attacking him, he went to a church. And he could not understand the language of the people in the church because it was in Swedish and he was new to Sweden. But he continued to watch these Christians, what they do. What these Christians, they always spoke and they did it. They helped the needy. They helped the refugees. They in fact discussed about, we should go to this part of the town and help these people group. They are in need. So Murtaza, this Afghan Muslim man, he was very much touched by their action, by the light they were producing to the world. So he decided to know more about Jesus Christ. He approached the pastor and he explained to him that because I do not understand much of your language and I have a problem, but I would love to know about your faith. Is it possible for you to introduce me to a Persian speaker whom I can understand? And so they did, praise the Lord. This is what God has set his followers here on earth. When he said, go therefore and make disciples from all ethnic backgrounds, this pastor leads him to another pastor who was Persian. And this Persian pastor shares the word of God, the grace of God, the love of God through Jesus Christ to Murtaza. And as a result, Murtaza gives his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about it. He was about to commit suicide, and yet God helped him through his body on earth, through lights of the world, to encourage a Muslim man who was to the point of committing suicide, and he found the light of the world. Not only he found the light of the world, Jesus Christ, who took him out of darkness into his marvelous light, but also made him to be light to the others. In fact, towards the end of his testimony, when I said, do you have anything to say to your Afghan friends in Afghanistan? He said, I rather would like to pray for them, that they may know Jesus Christ, that they may once read the Bible and know the goodness of Jesus Christ for them.
and then decide what to follow and what to not. Dear friends, this is what exactly is the message of the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, the Lord loves the entire humanity, everybody. And he gave for this love his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for them. And when they trust Jesus, they are saved. This is my personal testimony too. And I'm sure it is your personal testimony that how God in an amazing way saved you. And therefore, the message is so urgent, so important. It is not a statement of enlightenment, but it is a powerful statement of giving life and giving light. May the Lord bless you. And I encourage you, if you have Afghan friends, please lead them to the address you see on the screen so that they can go and hear the testimony of Murtaza for themselves and let them be touched as Murtaza was touched. Let them know Jesus Christ as Murtaza came to know Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Glory to God. Amen.